Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another subscriber requested look. Today we are playing with all of the rose gold tones. I actually don't have a lot of rose gold makeup in my collection, so I just kind of used what I had, mixed things together, and I think it turned out great. So to the subscriber that requested this look, I hope that you enjoy this. I hope this is giving rose gold, and I had so much fun creating this look. Even if you don't care for rose gold, this is a great look for the fall time. A uh, great look for a festive occasion that you have coming up. And you can, of course, take the techniques that I use today and apply it to any color scheme. So if you are not a fan of pinks, roses, golds, you can take this and apply it to any color story, color palette that you enjoy and that fits your preference. So without further ado, make sure you grab yourself a drink, grab a snack, grab all of your rosy gold makeup, and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's get into some pretty rose gold makeup. I don't even remember the last time I did a rose gold makeup look. It's not a color that I wear a lot. I used to wear it all the time. It's not a color that I wear very often. So this is a really nice request, and that's why I love taking your request from y'all because it kind of gets me out of my normal bubble of color and styles. Just prep my skin with my MAC uh, Studio Radiance Primer. It will be linked below. And then for foundation, um, I just want to use my tried and true Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. This is in the shade C 4.5. I actually really want to get the shade C 40 because it has a nice olive undertone and it's a little bit lighter. C 4.5 is a little dark on me right now, which is so crazy. Like, I'm just, I have no summer tan anymore. So, to help remedy that, I'm going to mix in a little bit of my Ben Nye HD Matte Foundation. And I'll probably mix in a little bit of the shade SH4, maybe a little bit of BE3. Um, I never know exactly what my, exactly what shades I'm going to use, but I'm going to kind of take... A few of these lighter, more olive tones and mix them in with my Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and just apply that all over the skin per usual. Prep and Prime and Bright Forecast for the under eyes. I'm actually just going to use this palette and just kind of take a mixture of shades that match my skin tone and just pop that on areas where I just want a little bit more coverage, but I feel like my foundation is got a pretty good amount of coverage so I don't need that much then BK Beauty N14 brush to blend out the under eyes and then for the rest of the face I'm just gonna go back in with my foundation brush this is the it cosmetics number no. seven and I'm just gonna blend that out just press it into the skin for maximum coverage and just to give the skin a little bit of dimension, I'm just going to stick with the same palette and I'm going to take mainly the shades SA7 and SA1. I just kind of mix these two together. The great thing about having a palette with a bunch of different shades is that you can just kind of, depending on the day, custom customize the shades. So it just depends on the day. But I think for today, those are the two shades that I'm going to be dipping into. And then I'm going to go back in with my Prep and Prime just for underneath that bronzer. And then for my under eyes, a little bit of this Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Glow Concealer in the shade 29.5, just for a little extra coverage. But that matte foundation is a little heavier, so I don't want that under my eyes. I'm gonna let the under eye concealer sit while I blend out underneath my bronzer, sip on my coffee, and I'll go ahead and blend it out. Alright, set the face, I'm going to take my favorite Ben Nye Luxury Loose Powder in the shade Buff, and I'm taking it on a Makeup by Mario Powder Puff. And for bronzer, Give Me Sun from MAC, of course. And then for blush, I'm going to use MAC Glow Play Blush. In blush please nice pinky shade which I think will complement the eye look we're gonna do and then over top everything I'm gonna seal everything in with a kiss of warmth using max global glow 
And honestly, this paired on top of that blush kind of gives it a more of a rose gold look. Really pretty. Actually, I'm going to take a tiny bit more of my blush. Just right here on the very, very tops of the cheekbones. Alright, MAC Fix Plus. Which I'm almost out of. So, for this look, the palette that immediately came to mind was this gorgeous palette that my friend actually had made for me in Japan. It's from the brand Shu Amora and she custom chose these four shades for me. I will put the shade names that I use in the description box. You of course do not have to use this, these eyeshadows, this kind of color story. Like you can go in a lot of different directions when it comes to rose gold. I'm kind of dipping more into like the coppery kind of rose gold, but like this I feel like is like a true rose gold. I'll swatch these shades so you can see if you have something similar in your collection. But those are the colors that we're going to be playing with. I also want to incorporate some liner and yeah, we'll just kind of see where the look takes us. Um, we can always add other stuff in, but I did want to share with you some other ideas. So if you don't have this, these kinds of shades or um, maybe there's some other products in your collection that you have that I have as well. So this eyeshadow in particular from MAC, it's called Gleam. It is so gorgeous. I believe, is it a Dazzle Shadow formula? I cannot remember, but I will link this below as well, but it's a really pretty, I don't even kind of see the, um, it's pink, but then it's got this like almost golden undertone. So I kind of see a little bit there. But yeah, that's a really gorgeous shade. So if you have that shade or something similar, that would be great. Um, Babe in Charms Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. It's not really a true rose gold, but it has pink and gold in it. And I just think it's so pretty. I, I feel like this would be maybe a little bit more of a fun kind of unique spin on rose gold. So that's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Oh, this MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in, oh, you know what? I think this is discontinued. Well, if you have this in the shade Love Yourself, this is a really pretty, um, not really rose gold, it's more of a pinky silver, but it would definitely work for this look. There's kind of a pinkier shade in the Naked palette, so you can always just use what you have, make it work. You can use blush, you can mix your blush in with something more golden, like you could take something very, oh gosh, very similar to Global Glow mix it with a little bit of your blush and kind of make a custom rose gold shade. You can mix liquid illuminators with cream blushes, liquid blushes, like have fun with it. Just kind of create your own little rose gold combinations. Um, so there's always a way to create a shade. Even if you don't have that specific shade in an eyeshadow, there's always a way to create it. So I'm actually going to start with an eye pencil. Uh, this is the MAC Color Excess Gel Pencil in Nudge Nudge Ink Ink. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, eyeliners ever. It is so good. It's a really pretty kind of rusty deep copper shade and while it's not rose gold it's going to be a really nice base, sorry, base for our look and I just I love this color and I love this formula. It stays on all day long. So I'm going to start with this right at the lash line. I don't have anything on my eyes. I did not even prime them. We're just going to go in and just start laying down some color. So trying to keep this pretty close to my lash line. Again, this is not like a true rose gold color, but it's got that nice coppery ness to it. And it'll work great as a base layer under our eyeshadows, make them look nice and rich. And like I said, I kind of want to go in more of a warm, golden, copper, rosy direction with this look because I just love those tones on my skin tone and my eye color. So I'm going to use this as a base. I'm also going to run this in my lower waterline as well as my lower lash line. So just really push this into this entire area. Get it smudged in there just like that. And I'm taking a small pencil brush. This is a Refer 03. I'm just really pushing that into the lash line. So essentially we're just wrapping this color around the entire eye, 
Still keeping it pretty tight, not going too far onto the lid or smoking it out too much because I don't want this to overwhelm the look. And as I was kind of going through my collection, I really don't have a lot of rosy tones when it comes to eyes. But this Shoe Amora palette was like the first thing that came to mind. And it's such a spe special palette to me and I want to use it more. Okay, so let's go ahead and dip into the palette. And I'm going to start with this shade, which I will put all of the shade names on the screen. I'll also link them in the description box. Um, I don't feel like pulling this whole thing apart. But actually, I will show you these. I don't know if they still make these palettes, but they're a little customizable palette. So you can just pull this out, change out the eyeshadows, and then clip them back in. I think Buxom used to have a system very similar to this, where the whole thing just kind of slides out. But I'm going to take that coppery shade, same brush, and I'm just going to press it right on top of that liner on my upper and lower lash line. And having that liner down is just going to grab it. This eyeshadow is just going to stick immediately, and the liner is going to really intensify this color. If you were to apply this on your naked lid, it would be a lot more sheer. And then I'm just going to take that same brush I've been using and just whatever's left over on the brush, I'm going to start pushing this eyeshadow upwards and diffusing it just so it's not a straight line across the lid. I want it to be really soft and diffused. All right, so that's a gorgeous look all on its own. It's definitely leaning more copper, but I think this is such a pretty look with just some mascara. Brings out your eye color and it's super easy. So let's incorporate this color, which is gonna bring in more of that pinkiness to the look. So I'm, yeah, I'll use a brush with this. It's the kind of thing I would just use my finger. But I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, this is a MAC 217. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. Make sure I tap off the excess because I don't wanna apply too much all at once. And I'm gonna take this right over top of that liner, just in the center of my eyelid and then just start working this up towards my brow. But I want it to overlap that liner just right in the center and then with whatever's left over, I'm just bringing it up to my brow. I'm not applying it all over the lid, you definitely can. I really just want that center to be the brightest. Do the same thing on this side. Just taking that all the way up. So that's really bringing in more of that pinky rosiness to the look. And if you want to keep this really simple and do a rose gold eyeshadow look, you can just take a shade very similar to this, apply it all over the lid, and just call it good. Just use this as like a one and done. So reflective. It just looks so beautiful on the eyes. It does not need to be paired with anything else, but I like to add a little bit more dimension to the eyes. So, so easy. Okay, so let's have a little bit of fun with this. I'm going to dip into this pinky shade. It's matte. It's actually quite pink. It looks like a blush, um, which you could totally use a blush for this. And I'm going to run this just along my lower lash line just to help blend and smoke this out, but not too, too much. I still want to keep it pretty tight to the lash line, but this will just kind of peekaboo out a little bit and really bring out the pinkiness in the eye look. Okay, just like that, super easy. And then I wanna use the new MAC Holiday um, Chromatic, no, Chroma Crayon Eyeshadow Stick. They actually have a pinky one, it's called Bubble Glam. I did not get that one, I got the High Topes shade, but I'm gonna use this anyway because it has reddish pinky gold reflect to it and it's really pretty and I think it's gonna look really pretty with this eye look. So I'm just gonna take this right in the inner corner we're doing a lighter inner corner today. What a change. But yeah, like even though this is a taupe shade, it really translates kind of more pinky because of all of that red glitter in there. And I think also pairing it with tones like this that we already have on the eyes, it's really gonna bring out that red glitter. Oh, that's so pretty. Honestly, what would've been pretty is to put this on the center of the lid and then top it with that um, rose gold shade from the palette. That would have been really pretty too. So I kind of want to incorporate this shade. It's not rose gold. It's like, I mean, I guess it is. It's pretty. It's got like a rose gold 
tint to it. But I don't know what I want to do with this. I think it would just be too much if I added this. Maybe I'll just, whatever's on my finger, I'm just going to tap right in the center of my lid. Because I still want to keep that pretty bright. And because this has more of an orange tinge to it, it is kind of deepening up that center part. Just kind of blend that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, I think I'm just going to keep the eyes like this for now. I'm going to do mascara. And then we'll kind of figure out if we want to add anything else. But I really like the eyes the way they are. So I'm going to apply MAC MAC Sack Mascara. And then I'll be right back. And then I'm going to take my MAC Eyebrows Big Boost Fiber Gel in the shade Stylize. And I'm just going to finish off my brows. Brush them up. Fill in any gaps. Alright, I'm going to finish off with a little bit of Studio Fix Powder. Just right here in the under eye. Just kind of in this little like triangle right here. I don't take it all the way across because I don't want my entire under eye to be bright. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of Studio Fix just around my lip line. We can apply our lip. Someone is having a lot of fun with their motorcycle outside. We live on these like country roads. I'm talking country roads. And um, a lot of people around here have four wheelers and bikes and things like that. So they're always like out here riding around and it's really loud. It's fun. Like I, I Chris and I really want to get a four wheeler so that we can go on some of these like real back roads and have fun. But yeah. So if you ever hear like crazy noises and stuff like that, it's either tractors, four wheelers, or a bike something of that nature. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the lip. I honestly did not plan what I wanted to do with the lip. Oh, but there was one more step I wanted to do before we move on to the lip. I actually wanted to incorporate this. This is from MAC Holiday. It's the Glowing Treasure Skin Finish Metallic Cream Blush, and I love using this as a highlighter. Pick that up and just pat that across the cheek area. This is really pretty. It looks gold in the pan, but if you get real up close, if you get up close, you can kind of see some red, reddish pink glitter in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. When it catches the light, it really does give that kind of rose gold gleam to it. Okay, now we can move on to the lip. So, hmm. I love this. All right, this is the Ben Nye lip pencil in Cocoa Cherry. I used to wear this all the time. I haven't worn this in a long time, so we're gonna wear this today. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Okay, it's like, um, how would I describe this? All right, let me gather my thoughts real quick. Okay, it's like a brownie mauve. Like, there's definitely a brownness to it mixed with, like, rose, maybe? Like a rose brown? Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, maybe like a rose brown. I love the formula of these pencils. They're actually really long when you buy them. So what I do is... Where's my other one? So I broke it in half. So now I have two. Because it's just... It was so long. I've sharpened it so many times since I bought it. But... Yeah, they're really long, so I break them in half, and then I have two, and I have one for my makeup bag, one for my purse, you know. You get multiple pencils, and I buy all of my Ben Nye makeup from Camera Ready Cosmetics. It's a store that is local to me, but you can order online. Their customer service is amazing, and they sell a bunch of really cool brands on there that you can't get at Sephora or Ulta or a lot of other retailers. They sell Mob, um, RCMA, Mayron, Graftobian, Kryolan, just kind of like all those artistry brands, Danessa Myricks, which I know you can get at Sephora, but I love buying from them because I just, I love their website. I've actually been into their store several times and it's such a cool store. The warehouse is actually attached to the store. So you go in there, you get a piece of paper, like they give you a piece of paper, and you check off whatever you want, and then they just go pull it directly from the warehouse. Everything that you buy online is shipping from this one location. So it's just such a cool store, and because it's local to me, it basically arrives within two days. So I just, I love it. 
But yeah, if you don't know where to get uh, Ben Nye makeup, that's the place. That looks nice. I love this pencil. I forgot about that one. And then I feel like since we used all the MAC holiday products, we should use uh, brushed and bronze. Let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, that is a perfect rose gold lip right there. It's like a bronzy rose gold. If you have not seen my video, I did a I did a video on the MAC holiday collection. I purchased everything myself. I only bought a few things, but this was one of my favorites. All right, that is the finished look. I am loving all of these rosy gold tones, especially for the holidays. I think this is a great fall look. I mean, it's great for all year round, but these tones are really pretty in the fall time. I love the sparkle. It just reminds me of holiday. So whether this is for Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's or whatever you fun, festive plans you have for this season, this would be such a pretty look. Of course, use the makeup products that you have. You do not have to use the makeup that I use today, but I will have everything listed and linked in the description box just for reference if you just want to see shade references or if there's a product that you're actually interested in definitely check those out but again no pressure to um, buy any new products like make sure you're using what you have if you watched my last video I talked about this a lot but um, you know you don't have to invest in makeup products try and invest your time and or your money um, in learning new techniques, artists, watching artists, taking makeup classes. Because most of the times, the makeup that you have is perfectly fine. You can create so many different looks with the makeup that you have, even if you don't have that much. Like, get creative, mix things together. Like I said, there's so many different ways to make rose gold. You can make them with your face products, your lip products. I mean, you can use um, your lip products on the cheeks like have fun with it get creative be a little scientist with your makeup collection i think that's always more fun anyway so thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today as always remember i love you god loves you and i'll see y'all in my next video bye guys